Okay, let's suppose you're looking at stock returns, rates of growth, or basically gross and revenues for a company. So let's look at two stocks here. The first stock, every year it went up 5%. The second stock, it went down 50%, up 70%, down 50%, up 70%. Which of these stocks is better? Well, you might look at the average return. So you might take the average. Here it's going to be obviously 5%. So every year, your money grows by 5%. Now you look at the second stock, just copying that average across, the average return is higher, 10%. So it looks like stock two is better, but the answer is it's not, okay? Because the volatility in stock two will eventually kill you. If you're in stock one, your money will always grow. But if, if you're in stock two, your money will decline. So like what would happen is if you start with a dollar in stock two, well, the first year you might lose 50%, so you'd be down to 50 cents. Then you'd grow by 70%, you'd have 1.7 times what you had here. Okay, then you'd lose 50%, so you'd end up here. And then you would grow by 70%, and you'd end up here. That'd be less money than what you started with. And if, if you followed this pattern in four years, even though your average return is 10%, you'd have less money. So you don't want to say stock two is better. So here's where we need the concept of geometric mean, which leads to keggers or compound, compound annual growth rate. So the geometric mean of n numbers is the nth root of the product of those numbers. So if I took one, two, and four, you multiply those, you get eight. The cube root of eight is two, because two times two times two is eight. Now there's a formula or a function in Excel, geo mean, which would give you two there. Okay, now, so how do you sort of get sort of a typical annual growth rate for a stock or revenue growth for a corporation given numbers like these? Okay, and that's called the Kegger, not beer, but compound annual growth rate. But you ask anybody who's been to an MBA program about Keggers, they may talk about beer, but they'll also talk about compound annual growth rate. Okay, so what I did is I took one plus the returns, 1.05, et cetera, one plus the minus 0.5 is 0.5, 1.7 is the one plus this, et cetera. Then you take the geometric mean to get the kegger, basically, or compound annual growth rate, basically, for each stock, and you subtract one. So you take geometric mean of these four guys minus one. That's going to come out to 5% should show you that formula. We'll widen the column by double clicking. Now if I copy that across, you'll see the second stock has a negative kegger, negative 8%. So stock two has a kegger of like minus 8% per year. Okay, and that makes sense because we saw that if you invested in stock two, you would decline, okay, over time. And basically, if you would take this keg, one plus this kegger to the fourth power, you'd get this 72 cents. In other words, if I would take one plus, it's, that's what I mean, it's a compound annual growth rate. One plus that, carrot over the six raises to the fourth power. You see those two are exactly the same there. Okay, that's 72 per cents you'd have in four years. If you projected the kegger four years, you'd have 72 cents. So these keggers are really important, and the reason they're important, again, is the volatility. In the long run, volatility will cause you to eventually lose money if the means are equal. Okay, if you've got two data sets where the means are equal, the one with the uh, volatility is going to have the lower compound annual growth rate. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to start talking about box plots, which is new to Excel 2016, beautiful box plots. They give you a fantastic way to quickly compare data sets and understand the concepts we've been talking about, central location, spread about the mean, and skewness.